This is my harmonograph. It's a card table with three pendulums, each that can be adjusted for one dimensional or two dimensions of freedom of motion. All three hinges can be set up in this configuration, which allows for complete freedom of movement in both directions. By removing the middle washer, the hinges can be converted into single motion or one dimensional pivoting. The magnetic holders for each arm permits complete freedom of motion in all dimensions and also makes it very easy to assemble and disassemble the machine. To create a harmonogram, first you set up the number of degrees of freedom you want for each of the three hinges on each arm. Place a piece of scrap paper on top of your stack. Initiate your pen and start the pen moving in the pattern that you think will create an interesting design. Once it's going, you remove the scrap paper so you get a clean start to your harmonogram. It usually takes between three and four minutes to create a harmonogram depending on the magnitude of the initial motion and how much drag is on the pen. In this case I'm using a gel pen on ultra glossy paper which has very little drag so it's going to run for a long time and that also means that the lines will be closer together. As the harmonogram progresses, you'll note that energy is transferred between the pens holding the arm and the pendulum holding the table. So as time goes on, the table will increase, decrease, and increase again the magnitude of its oscillations. One of the problems with using glossy paper is that although the finished product looks better, when the lines get too close together as they can, you can get a smudgy effect, which you may not like. If that happens, try using a good quality plain bond typing paper. When you're ready to stop the image, lift the arms and remove the drawing and you're done.